Boston Garden, Saturday afternoon, November the 7th. It's going to be extra special. An afternoon family special starts at 2 p.m. And this card is absolutely loaded. I can't emphasize strongly enough what a blockbuster this is going to be. Bam Bam to meet Killer Khan in a return bout. Strike for squaring off against the Islanders. By the way, I've been informed they're going to use two referees in that tag team bout between Strike Force and the Islanders. Junkyard Dog, as you know, to meet the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Yes, Virgil is going to be here in Boston. Brutus the Barber Beefcake, the Baba, returns to Boston to do battle with his former tag team partner, Greg the Hammer Valentine. Polish power! Ivan Putsky back to meet Hercules from the Bobby Heenan family. After Saturday night... Before you get started, I just want to say... My fans, my people in Boston, I don't appreciate you making fun of the way they talk. You said Baba. Yeah, that's it. You said Baba. Oh, we can't help it if they say park the car. But you don't have to say that. You don't have to say Baba. Let the honky tonk man say what he wants to about his fans, but you don't do it. Don't insult my You know, people. I think you've got bigger problems than calling Brutus Beefcake the barber. You, you've got problems with Macho Man Randy Savage. You have really opened up a hornet's nest. I don't have any He is problems. a bitter and anger man. And how in the world can this man backhand a woman, Jimmy Easy, Hart? easy. If she gets in the ring, he don't have to this time. I'll send her to the hospital, and that's a promise, baby. Big man, 142 pounds. Big man, he... big macho man with a taped up fist hit hitting first. Jimmy Hart. That's a big man. Yeah, really. You need it, Brad Hart. some of them people running around the streets of Boston. They think they're big people. I'm walking the streets looking for a fight in Boston. I couldn't find one when I had Bruno there. All his Italian friends were on ringside. None of them would fight either. Macho man's not much of a fighter. He had to go get Hulk Hogan. He had to send his woman. His woman had to come there, stand in front of me and beg and plead for me not to play the song too loud. That's what it was all about. She was just in there. You were going to hit the macho man with that no, guitar. Sir. No, sir. I was going to play the hit for it. What, what did Elizabeth do? She got down on her knees and she reached out and tried to touch me because I told you before and I'll say it again she wanted me she wanted to touch me she wanted to touch the greatest intercontinental heavyweight champion of all time I love tapped her right out of the way and I stepped up and I gave macho man what he needed I gave him what my fans wanted me to give him I gave him this right here and I'm gonna give it Great. to him again Saturday afternoon show the first time ever in the Boston Garden all of my fans will be there they'll bring the car and they're gonna park it and they're going to watch the honky-tonk man do his thing. Macho man is over. He's finished. And don't make fun of my fans anymore the way they talk. I don't particularly care to have you making fun of them either. Thank you. Uh, forget that. I will not thank them. Boston Garden, Saturday, November the 7th, 2 p.m. in the afternoon.